Hello, welcome. I don't know how many people are here yet. Most people give it a second or two. Are we up on Twitch? We are up on just about everything. Yay! Let me finish Let me pulling it up mic. here. All right, so it That's says good. we're live. Let me mute. Can I, oh, I've muted the site. Perfect. Welcome, everyone, to the first welcome. episode of the Jenny Davis Morning Show. Yay! I'm super excited to be here. Are you excited to be here? I'm so excited to I be here. I just pounded a five-hour energy, so I'm excited for whatever happens the next oh four and a half hours. Excellent. Uh, how I'm I not. That scares me. <laughs> That's very scary. Oh, oh we got 24 people on Instagram. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Let me watch. Oh, the we got 24 people on Instagram. Oh, no. Be quiet. Shh. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. All right, hello. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Episode Ooh. one, easy there. Killer. I almost spilled what was in my mug. Uh oh. All right, I got really got. Don't do that. Got to figure this out. This is not gonna. All right, we're good. I just what is my up, everybody? Welcome to the Jenny and Davis Morning Show. Uh, for those of you that don't know what's happening, um, we have canceled our pod. We quit the Let's Quit podcast. We did. We and thought it was rather appropriate. And so we have now started. Can you mute that? That's oh yes, distracting. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't realize it was not muted. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> we have quit the Let's Quit podcast, and are, we are replacing it f with... Um, oh, what's up, Chris Mason? Uh, and everyone else. Welcome. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted. I'm so excited to be here. Yes. Oh, okay, let me put my thoughts together in a little more organized manner. Um, we quit the podcast we because did. it was taking up good time, but it wasn't giving us a whole lot, no bang for our buck. And right. we decided that the the podcast should be canceled and replaced with a live morning show. Because the like going live, I feel like fits better with our personalities. Like, don't get me wrong, we enjoy doing the podcast. We are way more fun live than we are scripted. Yes, believe me. And we enjoy YouTube, but like, oh, we just wanted to have more fun. Yep. So, uh, with that being said. Let's just jump right into yeah. it. So this is the morning show with Jenny and Davis till we can come up with a better name. That's I what it's called. I kind of like this name though. Yeah, we'll see. The morning show with Jenny and Davis. I'm not super excited about it, but <laughs> that's okay. Ouch. I like it. Um, but yeah. Um, hello everyone. Everyone coming in from Instagram. Well, the, so the idea is that we do this every, so what is this? Let's, oh my gosh, let's wrangle yes. our thoughts in here. What's the who, what, when, where, why of the morning show? Who? Well, obviously it's us. We, us. we will have guests from time to time. That's yes. exciting. And um, Bruce does get up this early to be with us as well. He is just laying he's down. He's passed down the floor right now. We took him on a walk because he didn't want him bothering us during the show. So we took him on a walk this morning nice at 5 a.m. long walk. Yes. So he's pooped. Um, but anyway, so what is the good, what is the morning show with Jenny Davis? Jenny? It is a fun and positive way to take your day by storm. And I know that's super cheesy, but I don't care. I like it. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're just excited to share our morning routine with you. Hopefully you can make this show part of your morning routine as you're getting ready, going to work, driving to work. Don't watch, just listen. Um, yeah. but we just wanted to spend more time with you guys and have some fun. So, um, it's going to be every weekday from 7am to 8am central time. Mm -hmm. So I wish we could be available for everyone's morning routine, but that's just, how it has to work. But um, you are going to be able to watch on basically all platforms. We're streaming on Twitch, TikTok, uh, our podcast YouTube channel. We're doing the main channel today, but in the future, it'll be um, just those platforms. Twitch is the best place to watch. That's yes. where you're going to be eligible for giveaways and stuff like that, which speaking of today, we're going to be giving something away. So if you've, we are, if you've got the time, uh, everybody's got, I'm giving you time, go download the Twitch app, make an account and follow us there. It's just search for Jenny and Davis and uh, you'll be entered to win on the uh, contest coming up. So yes, we'll tell you how to, we'll tell you what to do. We'll tell you what to do. Don't worry, but uh, you can only win it from Twitch. Yes. So uh, that being said, we are ready to take this show on the road. We've got a portable setup. Yep. So we're going to be able to do this show no matter where we are in the entire world. As long as we have an internet connection, you will see us in the morning. Yes. Uh, thanks for the follow, Lazarus. See, Lazarus knows what's up. He followed us on Twitch. So um, good morning, everybody. This is the first episode of the Jenny and Davis Morning Show. We are so happy to have you here. Yes. And with that, let's just get into... Oh, shoot. I didn't do uh, the checklist. 
Oh, I didn't hit record. Oh my gosh. I was just about to ask you that actually. I didn't hit record I on the like... first episode. Ah, oh, I didn't follow my checklist. <laughs> oh, I'm so upset with myself. Welcome. Oh my gosh. So for the sake of the video, welcome. It's the first morning of the, the Jenny and Davis morning show. So we're super excited to have you here. Uh, for those of you joining, man, we got a lot of people watching. Oh. Was not expecting this much um, so soon. Uh, good morning. Favorite hot drink, chai latte. That brings us to the first event. It does. So the first event. Excellent segue. Wow. Great job. Um, for favorite hot drink. Well, there is a segment that we're going to start the show with called yes. What's in Your Mug. I used to do a podcast back in the day in the Missile Fields, um, and one of the segments of the show was called What's in Your Mug. Yes. And uh, that's something we're carrying over to here. So, Jenny. Yes. What's in your mug? In my mug today, first off, observe. I have this cute little Wisconsin mug. Um, I actually got it from my family because they're sweet and they're the best. Um, not many people know that I'm fr I'm from Wisconsin. I'm not from Texas. I, we just don't have much Wisconsin stuff up um, in the house. But yes, so I'm sporting my favorite mug today. And in it is coffee, French vanilla community curing coffee mm. with just a splash, a splash of oat milk. Gross. Listen. Disgusting. It's good. It's not good. It's. Have you had it? I don't need to have it oh to know that it's gosh, not good. Oh my gosh, that's false. Don't judge me. What's in your mug? Mm. Well, in my mug is just regular old coffee. Just I don't... Black coffee? You put... Nothing you, else in it? We, we have to put... I don't know. Help me out. Is anybody else like this? We have to put coffee grounds in the coffee jar. We can't just scoop it out of the bag because then we'd be animals. But we have, have to scoop it. have such a cute little jar that I keep it in. Anyway, so I don't know what kind of coffee it is. It's the coffee in the jar. Oh, that's the coffee from the top of the fridge. <laughs> that's much more <laughs> elegant than the than the bag itself. Oh, my gosh. Man, we got people from all over. Australia, Ireland, Vancouver. Welcome, everybody. Yes. Um, yeah. Chai latte is the best. I almost made myself a chai latte this morning because Caitlin... Um, she's a big tea drinker. And so she brought in like so much tea and one of them was a big box of like chai mix. And I was like, Ooh, that's looking good this morning. That'd be good with some oat milk. So we'll see that might be in my mug tomorrow. Who mm. knows? Wow. Um, so what is in your emotional mug? We've talked about your coffee mug, but what's in your, what's in your heart's what's mug? In, what's in my mug? What is your heart drinking this morning? Um, just a lot of excitement. I am very happy to be here this morning that we got it all set up in time. We did some test lives. They all went well. I was very grateful for some of our amazing friends who would like get on and help us do like test messages and like testing it like Big Lou, if, if y'all know <laughs> him. If you don't, go follow him because he's fantastic. Big Lou's workshop. Um, we had a lot of people help us Yeah, out. yeah. And the other day we were like, wait, wait, we need to test one more thing. Can you log back onto Twitch and try to message us this and that? And he's like, okay, yeah, I'll log back on. And he was a great sport. Um, so, yeah, just lots of gratitude for everybody being here this morning and lots of excitement. Thanks for all the follows, guys. Yes. Uh, really appreciate you jumping over to Twitch. That's the best place to watch the Jenny Davis Morning Show. Yes. We're not doing it on YouTube forever. It'll just be uh, for this first one. Um, I gotta check to see if it's even up on YouTube right now. Yeah, I'm not even sure it is. We shall see. Um, oh, it does say we're live. 59 people watching. Wow, that's a big turnout. Welcome everybody Welcome. from YouTube. Uh oh, gotta mute YouTube. Shh. Oh man. Um, got it. Okay, great. Hello, everybody. Now I see all your uh, your comments. I didn't see any comments from uh, YouTube because they don't come on screen. That only comes from Twitch. Uh, so you got to jump on over to Twitch. Welcome. This is the first episode of the Jenny Davis Morning Show. We're super excited to have you here. Um, yeah, we're just going to share our morning routines with you. Yes. We're going to jump into some growth stuff. We're going to read some from business books. We're going to read some from personal growth books. I don't know. It's just going to be a great time of... To hang out and grow and just be together. So here's the whole thing. I'm a, I, I've been saving this for the first few minutes of the stream because I wanted to make sure that we had everybody watching when I said this. So the real point of this whole show is 
to encourage you and to encourage other people. Yes. The, the whole point is to start your day off on the right foot. So, so many times we wake up in the morning and the first thing we do is we check Instagram, we look at our phones, we go to some other social media app and we instantly start comparing ourselves to everybody else. And that's absolutely stupid. That's a mm -hmm. terrible way to start your day. Because I don't know if you know this, social media is not great for you. <gasps> I know, I know, it's terrible, but like, Social media is not super great for your mental health. Like I, they did a study. Don't quote me on this. They did a study. I'm going to quote you. They did a study. They did a study. I don't know who they is, but they <laughs> did a study and they found that the only social media platform that leaves you in a better mental spot than when you started your session was YouTube. And that was only if you were watching educational content, not the hmm. over sensationalized clickbait. We don't know who does that. Yeah. Uh, nobody does that on YouTube. No, nobody. <laughs> but uh, created an account just for this. Looking forward to it. Hey, thanks so much for jumping over to Twitch. That's the best place to watch the Jane Davis Morning Show. It's not going to be on YouTube every day. It's just going to be on Twitch, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. So Twitch yes. is the best place to watch. So jump on over there. Follow us. Um, and for the people on TikTok right now, I know that you can't see us both. I'm sorry. I can't figure out how to make the Zoom work correctly on TikTok yet. Um, so, but that's why you should go to Twitch. Yes, that's what I was gonna say. Definitely go to Twitch because you will see us both. Um, I do see, I do see the comments. I'm switching between like Instagram and, and TikTok. Somebody says, "Scoop it straight from the bag." <laughs> yes, that's my guy. Oh What's my his gosh. name? Dad of ten kids. Dad of ten kids. My man understands time management. He ain't got time to scoop it from the bag to the jar. Wow. If that is, if your username is true to life, bless you. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Um, yeah, so sorry it's hard to see, um, but go to Twitch because it gets so, so, Twitch so, so, so much better. Twitch.tv slash Jenny Ann Davis. Yes. Um, we're also going to be doing a giveaway this morning, so you want to be on Twitch because that's the only people that are going to be eligible for that are those that can type in the Twitch yes. chat. You also get your chat to show up here on the screen, so, and then when you follow us, your name pops up. It's yeah. pretty neat. Anyway. Which is such a cool platform. The Morning Show with Jenny and Davis. The reason we're doing this is we want to share encouragement and start your day off on the right foot. We're going to go through a few things here from our morning routine um, that we have found to be super, super helpful in our lives. And we just want to share that with you because we're not special. You would be surprised at how <laughs> extraordinarily average the both of us are. Um, all we have done is we have stolen things from wealthy and successful people yes. <laughs> and we have found success with that in our lives. So who are we to question it? And one of those is a morning routine. Every successful person at a high level is preaching, have a morning routine, yeah. have a morning routine, have a morning routine. So I'm not smarter than them. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to copy and paste. Yes. So, um, the, the first thing we want to do is we want to go through our daily affirmations. If you don't know what a daily affirmation is, it's basically just a list of statements uh, of you reminding yourself who you want to be. Mm -hmm. um, and the tense is important. You got to write out these statements and you've got to say, you got to say it as if you're already that person. Um, you can't say I'm going to be successful and happy. You have to say I am happy. You have to adopt the d identity you want. Yep. So uh, these are very personal, so don't judge too harshly. <laughs> Uh, we are going to show you some, an ounce of vulnerability and share with you our daily affirmations. These are things we say to ourselves every single morning, starts our day off on the right foot. If you want to start your own list of affirmations, um, feel free to steal any of ours. Yeah. I mean, you can copy them straight up if you don't know what to do. But for us, these are ours. It took us a few months to, to craft these and hone these in. But um, copy the, the pattern here. Uh, you can straight up steal them if you want to. But mm -hmm. do you want to go first? Sure. I can go first. What are your daily affirmations, Jenny? All righty. My daily affirmations are, I am intelligent. I fight for what I want. I am relentless. I am strong. I am creative. I respect people. I respect myself. I can learn. I am logical. I am fair. I am covered by grace. And I am loved. That's a nice little list. Thank you. So theoretically, the idea is that you spend a few minutes on each one of these. Maybe not minutes. A few seconds on yeah. each one of these. Because we're nervous. We're sharing these publicly. So we're kind of sprinting through the list, hoping to get it over with. But um, the, the whole idea is that you you think about it for a minute. You meditate on it for just a half second yeah. for each one. Um, mine, I have a much longer list because I talk way more than Jenny does. <laughs> and it just kind of spills into everything. But uh, here are the things I want to remind myself of daily. So uh, I'm a pilot. I'm a maker. I'm a businessman. I am made in the image of God. I'm able to do incredible things. I'm a man of discipline. 
<laughs> Got a lot to do on hey, that one. Well, you were up at 5 a.m. this morning. You're you're getting there. Oh, I am a good operator of my body. I am good to my brain. I am building a multi-million dollar business. I am serving God with my decisions today. Today I am on temporary assignment to do today's work. I will move towards God plan God's plan for my life with today's work. I will get out of my own way. I will love every person I talk with today. I love you. Um, <laughs> there we go. Check the box. Uh, and I will give to others from a full heart. Whew, that was a long list. Yes. All good things, No wonder though. I never make it through the whole list. Oh, my gosh. You should add I am patient to that list. I am patient. Just so you can make it through the whole list. I'll never make it to that one. Oh, my gosh. Then that. I got to put that one at the top. I feel like that's a sign that that should be the first one. Mm. Oh, man. Uh, good morning, everybody. Are we ready for hurricane season yet? Wow. Um, we're, yeah. we're, we're prepping. Yeah. We're getting ready. Yeah. It's yeah. Uh, it's gearing up. So yeah. we got our dates figured out. So we for got... when we're going to be flying. We sign up for two-week blocks during hurricane season. Um, so that we don't know how Mother Nature is going to do right. hurricane season this year. So we just sign up for two-week blocks the entire summer. And I think we just got our dates. So um, yeah. We'll keep you guys posted. Still a little, still a little early, but um, we'll probably start posting some hurricane-related content in the next couple of months. Yeah, hopefully. So, yeah. Um, you can follow us on Twitter. That's where you're going to get live updates. We're going to try to do a better job of doing Twitter this time. Yes. Uh, man, we got 85 people on YouTube. Hello, everybody. I'm trying what? to keep up with comments. It's kind of hard. Um, nice. Uh, any questions? Oh, what's up, Corey? Do you have any questions? I don't know why I asked you for questions. I'm stalling. Oh my Help. gosh. No, I'm that I'm scrolling through to see if anybody has asked any. I don't have any right now. I can All right. go over to TikTok. Quick but. pitch. If you really want your question answered. Yes. I hate asking for this, but we have to filter it somehow. But if you really want your question answered, you can donate on Twitch. If you donate, I think it's five dollars, your question will be read out loud by this very nice British robotic voice. <laughs> and then we will be compelled to answer your question. So, no, like dead serious. We'll we'll stop what we're doing and we'll we'll Look at your question. Yeah. So you got to hop on over to Twitch, make an account there, and then jump in the chat. And then you can do exclamation point donate, just like all run together. So exclamation point donate. Um, and uh, yeah, you can do a TTS there. Why do we do Twitch if we have such a large YouTube following? Because YouTube sucks for live stream. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm saying it. YouTube, the product for live streaming yeah. on YouTube is absolute garbage. Um, also, the audience there is just not primed for uh, live stuff. Plus, we don't want to clutter the feed. Uh, there's a lot of reasons. But right. Twitch is just a better tool for live streaming. It was literally designed for this. And it plus, is, in ugh. long term, here's the super secret stuff that... <laughs> I don't know why I'm spilling this on the first episode of the morning show. Long term, we want to live stream when we start building our first airplane. And so this is teaching us how to live stream, how to be energetic, how to, to do stuff on camera. Just like the podcast was preparation for us to do this morning show. We didn't even know we were doing a morning show when we started the podcast. No, no but idea. this live stream is going to help prepare us for when we live stream actually doing stuff. So... Um, yeah, really excited there. But that's why we're pushing everybody to Twitch because mm -hmm. we also want to grow on Twitch as well. Yeah. Uh, sorry, we uh, oh, this might sting a little bit. We want to get a younger audience. Uh, our audience on YouTube, I'll show you our demographics sometime, but our demographics on YouTube is a much older crowd mm -hmm. um, that is probably less prone to uh, watching live streams anyway. Um, but anyway, we we're trying to skew a little younger and right. uh, Twitch is another way to do We absolutely love our audience. We oh, really do. We but love we all you guys. Like we want to include the younger people also. We feel like we might be leaving some people out. And so we're trying to figure out ways where we can include like even more people. Did y'all know that like young people, I would say if you're below the age of 25, I would say there's a greater than 50% chance you don't even have a Facebook account. That blew my mind. We were working with the kids at the church a couple of years ago, yeah. and they all were like, oh, we." I was asking, I was like, hey, you guys on Facebook? And they're like, nah, man, you're old. I was like, what? And they were like, yeah, man, it's Snapchat and Instagram. That's it. This is before TikTok like blew up. But Yeah, like I don't even think they would create themselves a Facebook. They didn't even know that Insta Instagram was owned by Facebook. Oh, my gosh. I just blew my mind. Anyway, so uh, social media landscape is always changing. So we want to be Do we dare to... utter the words MySpace? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> They'd be like, what? Yeah, no, this is MySpace. Now we're, now we're that, losing our ability to connect with the younger <laughs> people. Um, yeah. But uh, anyway, question. Mm. All righty. 
I say, what's next on our our segment list? That's a great question. So we did what's in your mug. So we did daily affirmations. Yep. Um, again, we'd love for you to come up with your own list of daily affirmations. Yes. Um, it's a great way to just prime yourself to get yourself thinking about the right things every morning, um, because y- I don't I don't know if you know this. Everybody lives by a code of values. And you can either take responsibility for that and define it for yourself, or you can let the people around you define it. Yes. Um, like, I promise you, the list that we read this morning, like, you have a list like that. You just haven't written it down yet. Right. So it is, it's, it's in here. It's in you. You just have to give it some thought. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to read one quick thing. I had a nice segue planned for this, but um, I just wanted to share one thing. So it really means a lot that all of you are watching. We've got, what, 40 on Twitch. we got got 100 people on YouTube watching. We've got, like, what, 20 on Instagram. PMG Woodwork says, not all older folks avoid live streams or podcasts. And we love We love that. you. Thank like, you. Young at, young at heart. Young in the mind. Seriously, that is amazing. It's beautiful. Thank you. Um, we, uh, I wanted to read you something. So it means so much that you guys would hang out with us. Um, I know you, most of you got a pop-up notification and you're still like, what the heck is going on? But uh, <laughs> I just wanted to read you an excerpt from this incredible book, The 4-Hour Workweek. It's a dangerous book. Do yeah. not read this book unless you are ready for your life to be changed. Um, but yeah. it says, uh, you are the average of the five people you associate with most. So do not underestimate the effects of your pessimistic, unambitious, and disorganized friends. If someone isn't making you stronger, they're making you weaker. That's Tim Ferriss, 4-Hour Workweek. It's an incredible book. Um, But it just means so much that you would put us um, in your morning routine. That's one of the most Mm -hmm. powerful places you can give time to somebody. And it means a lot that you would wake up and want to start the day with us. I don't know why you'd want to do that with us, but we greatly appreciate (laughs) it. And we we hope to not waste your time. I hope it's a good... uh, a good morning routine for y'all. Um, yes. But welcome for those of you that are just joining us. It's the first episode of the Jenny and Davis Morning Show. Uh, we have killed the podcast and are replacing it with this beautiful morning show. We hope to do it every weekday from 7 to 8 a.m. Central Time. You can always count on us to be here for you. <laughs> um, so what's the next thing? Um, let's see. So we read out of our business book. So Ooh, a fun question. Yeah, we, we didn't do our question book. So one thing we did keep from the Let's Quit podcast is this 3,000 questions about me. It's like this book full of questions. We did it every episode of the podcast or tried to. Um, we thought that was a good idea. So we kept it and put it in the morning show. Yeah. Um, so this question, 3,000 questions about me, or this book, 3,000 questions about me. Sometimes the questions are deep. Sometimes they're shallow. Sometimes we take the shallow ones way too seriously, and they turn into deep questions. Yeah. Uh, but right now, we're on 11, so you can find the previous 10 on the old episodes of the podcast. Let me grab a pen so I can mark it. Ah, uh, yes, because you don't want to do the same question twice. I don't want to lose my place. All right, Jenny. Oh, dear. What is a quality that you most like in a woman? A quality that I most like in a woman? Correct. Oh, man. And you have to be sexist on this one. You oh, can't, my gosh. On the last, the question before this, I'll spoil it, was what uh, what quality do you admire most in a man? And Jenny just gave the most, like, bland, gender it neutral. It was a quality that I appreciated. Yeah. You're telling me that I'm answering questions wrong here? But the book wants you to do gender roles, so oh do gender goodness. roles. Let's see. Um... I really enjoy women who can, who have a very, um, like a strong switch. Like I'm trying to feel, I'm, I'm thinking of the women in my head that I most admire. And a lot of them I've met through the military or, um, you know, are just very strong. So like in the military, you have to be very assertive at some at some points in time. Um, you have to make quick decisions. You have to be very strong-willed. Um, but then a lot of times outside of the military, these ladies would be like, you know, so kind and genuine and loving and sweet. And it's like, you know, let's hang out, let's get coffee, let's go shopping. And they executed it flawlessly because there's a, there's times where, you know, you're scared. Maybe you're going to overlap. Maybe you're going to be like, I don't know, too like assertive and military ish in real life or vice versa, but they just balanced it so well. They were able to bring like you know, lovingness and kindness into their job in a certain way, but like maintaining the assertiveness and bring the assertiveness into their personal life, but like in a way that was well balanced. I just, I like people who can do both. You can hold two two mindsets, like two worldviews in your head at the same time. I think you just described about six different I traits. I love that. And mushed them all together. All in one. I like people who can take like two mindsets or two different traits and balance them very well. Okay. 
at one time. So multitasking? Yeah. Someone who can multitask? Yeah. Okay. And pull it off. I like a woman that is confident. Yeah. And like, this is not even like attractiveness. This is just like, I, I don't know. I guess this is overgeneralized, but like, I think women in particular are skewed much less confident than men. I, okay. Let me, let me back this up. It is easier for a man to fake confidence than it is for a woman to fake confidence. I don't know why, but that's just my interpretation of what's going on. And so I really appreciate it when I find a female that has a, a good, strong sense of identity and confidence, mm-hmm. um, because that doesn't come easy. So yeah, that's my answer. Confidence. And yeah. your answer is what? Multitasking to pull it down into a word. Yeah. To oversimplify it. To oversimplify it. Yes. Perfect. Great. Well, that was a fun book question. <laughs> um, man. <sighs> Basically what we try to do with like all of the questions and like the book reading is we want to cover like every aspect of your, your morning routine. Like we want to have fun. We want to do, um, things that are going to benefit your mind. Um, you know, your body, maybe we can talk about like our morning routines. Like we go to the gym every morning or we try to do, I shouldn't say we try to go to the gym every morning. We try to be active every morning. Like today we took the dog for probably like a 30 or 40 minute walk because we just needed to like do something and be productive. Um, because for a while we did kind of lose our active morning routine. I feel like, yeah, we did. like, Oh, got to get it back. Cause well, we that's... are like young people who should be fit and active. Yeah. I mean, that's another thing that like we stole from successful people. Like Mm -hmm. everybody's preaching a morning routine, but like also these successful people are like, you have to move in the morning. You have to actively work out. You have to do something to get your blood pumping in the morning. And then you do daily affirmations. You prime your day with positive thoughts. And I know that sounds kind of woo woo to some of you, but it works. Like I I was the most skeptical person in the world. And then I tried it for a week and my day was a lot better. So, Mm -hmm. um, We're just hoping to share all that with you. So good morning, those of you that are new. This is the first episode of the Jenny Davis Morning Show. That's what we're calling it till we can figure out a better name. Um, But it's just a fun and positive way to take your day by storm. It's our little cheesy tagline. You can't say it cheesy, otherwise it's going to be cheesy. You have to be confident. Yeah, but I don't want anybody thinking that I seriously mean that tagline. Oh, you seriously mean it? I mean that tagline. Oh, well. (laughs) I like it. Um... Yeah, so oh, this is just supposed to be a fun morning stream just to get your day going, hopefully give you some positive energy on your way out the door to work or whatever. Yeah. Thank you for the follow, Little Eagle. Yay! Um, so the best place to watch the stream is Twitch. I, I'm going to say this a thousand more times today, but the best place to watch is Twitch. Um, I, I know there's 100 people watching on YouTube right now. This is not going to be on YouTube every single day. It's going to be on Twitch, Instagram, and Facebook most days, but it will definitely be on Twitch. Mm -hmm. Um, (laughs) We're more interesting than Kelly and Ryan. Wow. What a compliment. Thank you. Wow. I don't feel like I can let that one in. That one, we're just, we're just different. We fill two different roles in the world. All right. I got to get makeup on the set. Let's (laughs) go. Oh my gosh. (laughs) Oh man. I hope the name doesn't change. Watching from Rhode Island. Hello. Hello. As a hurricane hunter, taking your day by storm fits pretty good. Yeah. I mean, that's why we chose it. So um, I don't know. See, I told you. Never take thinks, yourself too seriously. Nobody thinks it's that cheesy. Okay, great. <laughs> um, Dear Dad Woodworks just followed. Hey, thank you for all of you that are hopping over to Twitch and making an account. Um, we really appreciate that. Yes. Um, every weekday morning from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Central Time, we're going to try to do this live stream. Just trying to provide value to you guys and um, get you going on the right foot every morning. So we're just trying to share as much positivity as we have. So that's another thing. Like, we realized that we, one of the things that like we have adopted over the years is just unrealistic levels of optimism. And we have seen that our lives have gotten significantly better when we are unrealistically optimistic, optimistic. Yep. The, the truth is, and uh, this is going to be kind of abstract for a lot of you, but hang in there. I promise you no more than 30 seconds. Um, 29, <laughs> 28. Thank you. Um, the, the difference between, what am I saying? Optimistic. Optim- oh. Sorry, I read a question in the chat. It totally just my brain oh my dumped. Gosh. It's like social media is designed to like grab your attention every three seconds. Optimism. Um, <laughs> you, we don't know what the future holds. So we can be pessimistic or we can be optimistic. Both of them seem, both of the, it's 50 50. Like the future could be good or the future could be bad. We don't know. I would rather choose the, the delusion that brings me the most. 
and very selfishly. I don't know what the future holds, but I can either believe that the future is pessimistic and, and bad, or I can believe that the future is good and I'm going to have more in the future. Yeah. And guess what? If you believe you have more in the future, you're going to have more in the future. It just works out that way. So when faced with the, the dilemma between two delusions, I'm going to choose the one that gets me the most. Yeah. And that's optimism. And so if for no other reason, just develop optimism because some clown with backwards hair and a Cosmo Kramer shirt on a morning show told you to be optimistic because it's going to make your life better. Yes. Delusionally optimistic. The eye can only see what the mind is prepared to comprehend. Yes. Absolutely. All right. I promised you no more than 30 seconds and I hope I kept the time. Um, so tell them about your Cosmo Kramer shirt. Oh, so I got all of these... Um, yeah, I got all of these new shirts. They're really nice and comfy. Jenny calls them Kramer shirts because I look like Cosmo Kramer from Seinfeld. Giddy up. Oh, my God. <laughs> but I'm really excited. These shirts are super comfortable. They look really good. I think they look good. I, I, I think I look great right now. My opinion of myself is the only one that matters, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Mostly, right? Oh, unless Tell me you I'm don't pretty. match me. Tell me then. I'm pretty. No, but that's not the only Cosmo Kramer shirt. There are... There are uh, many. Yeah. Um, I'm intrigued by the dash of cinnamon. What made you decide to do that? In dash your coffee? of cinnamon. Did you say dash of cinnamon in no, your coffee? No, oat milk. But oat I've milk. done a dash of cinnamon in my coffee mm. before. I used to do that. does that. Yes. One of our pilots. He, so he, I think he does it in the actual like coffee grounds. Mm. Like he'll, yeah, he'll mix it into the co coffee grounds itself and then it'll brew and have just like a hint of cinnamon in it. Mm. I've done it right into my coffee before. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I was just getting sick of plain coffee, but I was in college, and so I was like, well, I'm not going to spend $5 on a cup of coffee, and so I try to spice it up by putting, like, cinnamon in my in my super cheap, like, $2 ground coffee that I'd buy in bulk from mm -hmm. Costco. Uh, Danny, yes, we do plan on having guests in the future. Um, maybe other makers, maybe other business people, maybe just friends of yeah. ours. I don't know. Anybody that we can convince to wake up at 7 a.m. to do this live live show with us. People on the West Coast are going to be like, heck no, man. Like, <laughs> not doing um, a live show that early. Um, what am I What am I doing here? Mm. What other questions do we have? My brain, I've got so much energy. I should not have had that five-hour energy. Yeah, for those of you who watch our Instagram story before we... Before we got on, like Davis chugged a five hour energy and I was like, This is this is bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be like nine PM tonight and you're gonna be like, Let's go again. Next morning show. He's gonna be so awake. Ooh, I found a quote. You found a quote? I, I found it all by myself. No help from anybody else. <laughs> Did somebody says, message you a quote? Yes. Oh, um, my gosh. The pessimist complains about the wind. The optimist expects it to change. The realist adjusts the sails. Hmm. I like that. Although a lot of people hide behind the realist like thing. They just say, oh, well, I'm just a realist, and they hide behind it. But I, I in this application, I, I like the yes. term. Yes. But a lot of times people are like, oh, I'm just a realist, just to hide from their pessimism. Yeah. But yeah. that's a different topic. That's not what this guy was trying to convey. Thank you for sharing the quote. That was a very good that quote. That was a very Thank good you. quote. That might have Thank to go you. on our quote list. Yeah, I like that one. We do. We have a list of quotes that we pull from that are our favorites. Um, the one that we said earlier, uh, the eye can only see what the mind is prepared to comprehend. That is definitely on the list. Yeah. Um, that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. That's definitely on the list. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of good stuff. Yeah. Uh, just jumped over from YouTube. Oh, thank you. Thank you, JD. Thank you so much yes. for jumping over from the other side. For the rest of you on YouTube, please download the Twitch app and yes. follow us. You can just search Jenny and Davis. You'll find us. Or you can go to twitch.tv slash Jenny and Davis. Um, that's where the show is going to be. It's not going to be on uh, on YouTube every day. I know we're bigger over there, but we want to diversify, right? Yes. It's our investment. This is our retirement portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> ain't got no 401k, ain't got no Roth IRA or anything like that. We but got, I got Twitch. <laughs> I got Twitch subscribers and YouTube subscribers. Oh my gosh. Oh man. But um, The 2022 401k. <laughs> d d please don't take us for financial advice. Oh, we, no. uh, we do have retirement accounts. We do, yes. But also we have YouTube subscribers. Yes. Hopefully, hopefully we'll still be doing. I don't know. Do you still want to be doing social media when we're like 70, 80? I, I don't know why not. It's gonna it's it's gonna completely change. It's I feel like it's oh, not it's even gonna, totally gonna look different. the same. We're gonna be like, oh yeah, we used to do YouTube, and everybody's gonna be like, what? Like that's ancient. Like it's gonna look so different. Yeah. Number one book on our to read list. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, Ooh. 
Book recommendations, I take way too seriously. I, and Jenny can attest to this. Yeah. I always like really try to tailor it to the person who asks for the book recommendation mm -hmm. because not every book is going to be the same it, not every book is going to give the same information to the to the right person, right, or hit you the right way. Um, I got a we got a question earlier for uh, somebody who's nineteen trying to start a woodworking business. What's your best advice to talking to customers? Just talk to them. Yes. Do not overthink it. Do not overthink it. Just talk to people. Get yourself in trouble with how many people you talk to. So that's our best advice. I don't have a book recommendation. I thought I could weave that in, but I don't. <laughs> um, just talk to people. Get yourself in trouble with how many people you have. Um, talk to. Thank you. I love seeing all you guys come over from Twitch. Thank you so much. Or from YouTube to Twitch. Thank you. Um, but I would say, and this is probably my most um, special book recommendation. This is a very dangerous book to yes. read. I said this earlier, but the four hour work week, Tim Ferriss, you really want to make a change in your life. You want more free time. You want, this is, this is an entrepreneur book by category, I think, but it's got so much more value in there. If you just want more family time, this teaches you yes. how to negotiate yourself into a part-time position with full-time pay. This book was written in like 2004, 2003, 2004. So it's really funny actually to see some of the, the strategies he does in that book because you're like, Ooh, yeah, that's a little like outdated, but oh my gosh. Yeah. That would work in 2004. And it's like, <laughs> would work. <laughs> would work. Um, but, you know, it's completely adaptable and a lot of the stuff in there still does apply. Yeah. Um, but it's it's a very dangerous book to read because it will set your brain off on a journey thinking about life in a totally different way. Yes. So if if somebody's coming to me and they're struggling, they're really looking for to make a change in their life. That's the book I recommend because it just covers so many bases of just how to take responsibility for your life. Yep. Um, was it looking for a recommendation just at the top of your to read list? Oh, um, whoops. Totally misunderstood the question. But that's what you get sometimes. <laughs> um, like top of like top, what you want to read next? Oh, man, that book, that list is so long. I don't like looking at it because it makes me feel guilty because I haven't read anything it on it. You out. Yeah. Um, so I guess I could say at the top of our to read list is this book. Uh, it's called Priceless, The Myth of Fair Value and How to Take Advantage of It. It's all about pricing and stuff like that. So um, perfect segue. Thank you for the question. Um, but we are going to... Man, my stomach's growling. <laughs> I had breakfast, but... Anyway. Yeah, you had a five-hour energy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't breakfast. Okay. So one of the things that we're going to do... I don't think we have time to do this. What time is it? 7.38? 738. Do I have time to read a whole chapter of a book? Uh, maybe not a whole chapter. Okay, maybe so part of a chapter. The second half of the show, we are sharpening our minds, our bodies, and our spirit. Yes. Uh, those are the th three areas. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing in German three, but three. Uh, it's the three areas of your life where we need to grow every day. And so um, the first thing we were going to do was just read a chapter of a book that tells us good information. And so. Um, yeah, somebody else just jumped over to Twitch. Appreciate Welcome. you. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. But I guess, all right, so for those of you business in the crowd, most of you follow us for business and or um, content like that. So we figured this would be a good book to start off on. So if you can stand listening to my voice uh, for the we'll next few minutes. We'll switch back and forth who reads the books. These are short day. chapters, short, short chapters. So um, hopefully... Anyway, book is called Priceless, The Myth of Fair Value and How to Take Advantage of It. It's who's all about different pricing strategies. Who's it by? Written by William Poundstone. Man, what a name. Poundstone. Bill Poundstone. Imagine introducing yourself at a conference. That is a very strong And now, <laughs> welcome to the stage, Bill Poundstone. I feel like you need like a fog machine for that. <laughs> and a strobe light. Yes. I love it. Yes. Um, yes, we are going to be Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. Central Time. So welcome from YouTube. Appreciate you. Thank you. So um, here we go. Chapter one. In 1994, an Albuquerque jury awarded L Stella Liebeck $2.9 million in damages after she spilled a piping hot, piping hot cup of McDonald's coffee on herself. Oh, I remember this one. What's in her mug? Uh, <laughs> this resulted in third degree burns and precious little sympathy from the American public. Late night comics and drive time DJs turned Liebeck into a punchline. Talk show po pundits saw the lawsuit as exhibit A to what's wrong with our legal system. A Seinfeld episode had Kramer <laughs> suing, all, hey. suing over spilled coffee, and a website inaugurated the Stella Awards, booby prizes for the wackiest perversions of the justice system. Liebeck's injuries were no joke, though. 
Her grandson had driven her to the McDonald's drive through window. They bought the coffee, then pulled over and stopped so at a stopped the car so that Miss Liebeck could add cream and sugar. She studied the cup between her legs and pried off the lid. That's when it spilled. Liebeck racked up $11,000 in medical bills for skin grafts on her loin, buttocks, and thighs. The tricky question was, how do you put a price on Liebeck's suffering and McDonald's culpability? Liebeck initially asked the fast food chain for $20,000. McDonald's dismissed that figure and countered with a buzz-off offer of $800. Liebeck's attorney, New Orleans-born S. Reed Morgan, had ridden this rodeo before. In 1986, he sued McDonald's on behalf of a Houston woman who, hey, Houston, who also had third-degree burns from a coffee spill. In this most mesmerizing Deep South baritone, Morgan advanced the legally ingenious theory that McDonald's coffee was defective because it was too hot. Mm. McDonald's quality control people said the coffee should be served at 180 to 190 degrees Fahrenheit, and this was shown to be hotter than some other chains' coffee. The Houston case was settled for $27,500. Morgan monitored subsequent lawsuits closely. He knew that in 1990, a California woman had suffered third-degree burns for McDonald's coffee and settled with no great fanfare for $230,000. There was one big difference. In the California case, it was a McDonald's employee who had spilled the coffee on the woman. Since Liebeck had spilled the coffee on herself, logic would say that her case was worth a lot less than $230,000. Morgan ignored that precedent and used a controversial psychological technique on the jury. I will describe that in a moment. For the time being, I'll represent it with a row of dollar signs. (laughs) I don't know why you needed to represent it with a row of dollar signs, but it's there. The technique worked. As if hypnotized, the jury awarded Liebeck under $2.9 million. It was $160,000 in compensatory... compensatory damage. I don't read out loud often. There are way too many big words in this book. I know. I like it, but keep going. That was $160,000 in compensation damages plus $2.7 million in punitive damages. It took the jury four hours to decide all this. Hmm. Reportedly, some jurors wanted to reward as much as $9.6 million and the others had to talk them down. The judge, Robert Scott, apparently thought the jury award was outlandish, and almost everyone else in America did. He slashed the punitive damages down to $480,000. Wow. Even with the reduced award, an appeal for McDonald's was inevitable. The 81-year-old Liebeck wasn't getting any younger. She soon settled with McDonald's for an unsolicited amount said to be less than $600,000. She must have recognized that she had hit a home run and wasn't likely to repeat it. Wow. I didn't know this much about that like lawsuit. I didn't either. I, I mean, knew all I, the pop culture stuff, but I didn't realize right. it was that. Uh, like the Seinfeld episode. and Yeah. Uh, Skippy Peanut Butter recently redesigned its plastic jar. The jar used to have a smooth bottom. Why are we talking about peanut butter? A price consultant with Simon Kutcher and Partners in Cambridge, Massachusetts said, um, it now has an indentation, which takes a couple ounces of peanut butter out of the product. The old jar was 18 ounces. The new one has 16.3. The reason, of course, is so that Skippy can charge the same price. Oh, no. Skippy peanut butter. They're out to get you. Cereal's been doing that, too, man. You know They talk s- about this. Hang on, hang they on, hang do? on. Okay. That dimple at the bottom of the peanut butter jar has much to do with the new theory of pricing, one known as the psychology literature as coherent arbitrariness. Again, with the big words. This says that consumers really don't know anything, what anything should cost. That's something we've been preaching for yeah, a while. That is. Um, maybe not from such a pessimistic standpoint. Right. But, um, they walk the supermarket aisles in half-conscious days, judging prices from cues, helpful and otherwise. Coherent arbitrariness is, above all, a theory of relativity. Buyers are mainly sensitive to relative differences, not absolute prices. That is true. That's true. People wildly, like... Um, choose prices based on like what's next to it on the shelf it's like the popcorn thing i'm sure they're going to cover this but like small medium large popcorn sizes at the movie theater yes. that's how they get you to spend 20 dollars on a bag of popcorn is because they put it next to a small dinky bag worth eight dollars yep um buyers are mainly sensitive uh the new skippy jar essentially amounts to a 10 percent increase in the price of peanut butter had they just raised the price 10 percent, shoppers would have noticed and some would have switched brands According to the theory, the same shopper would be perfectly happy to pay the same price for Skippy, just as long as she doesn't know that there's been a difference in the increase in size. Interesting. I would agree with that. It's a little devious, but that's the market. I mean, think about yourself. Like, just me walking through the grocery store. Like, I... Honestly, yeah, that would work on me. I, it would work on me. I don't take, I don't pick up jars and look at the bottom and say, oh, they took 0. 0.7 ounces out of this and... I, 
you know? I would pay extra not to block the aisle because I'd be I'd be worried that right? the lady behind me would hit me in the ankles with her no, shopping cart. And let's be honest, I feel like we do pay extra because it's to the point where we do grocery pickup a lot of times because we can schedule it. It can go on the calendar easily. And I know you do pay extra. Like, a, a, it's not like a. Yeah, but it's for the convenience. Anyway, it is. It is. But like, I do that too. We got to finish the chapter. Oh my gosh. Okay. Luby, the guy who's been quoting all this stuff, Luby holds a physics degree from the University of Chicago. In his job as a price consultant, he more often thinks like a magician, like a skillful, skillful conjurer. He is asked to manage what buyers notice and remember. Skippy's peanut butter customers often have small children and purchase it so regularly that they remember the last price they paid. For such a product, mm -hmm. consultants recommended creative ways of invisibly shrinking packages. In 2008, Kellogg's Phased in thinner boxes of Cocoa Krispies, Fruit Loops, Corn Pops, Apple Jacks, and Honey Smack cereals. Nobody noticed. Shoppers just see the box width and height on the shelf, and by the time they reach for the box, the decision has been made, and they're thinking of something else other than the mm -hmm. thickness of the box. Wow. That one blew my mind. Dial and Zest just recently changed the sculptural contours of their bars, shaving half an ounce off the weight. The boxes stayed about the same. Quilted Northern made its ultra-plush toilet paper half an inch narrower. Wow. Wow. The makers of Puffs sh tissue shrank the length of their product from 8.6 inches to 8.4. Now, all this stuff adds up to millions it for does. these giant companies. It does. As the Puffs box remains the same, 9.5 inches wide, there's presently over an inch of air hidden inside the tissue wow. box. You can't see it because the opening is in the middle. In any case, a shopper wouldn't notice the shrinkage unless she archived old Puffs tissues and measured them. This ruse can only go on so long, though. Cereal boxes would collapse due to cardboard envelopes. Jars would become plastic voids. Eventually, there arrives a point at which the manufacturer must make a bold move everyone will notice. It introduces a new economy-sized packaging. In size, shape, or other design features, the new package and its price, difficult to compare to the old. The consumer is flummoxed. Why does this author love big... He just wants to flex that he got like a 1600 on his SATs. <laughs> I'm convinced. There are so many other words we could have replaced with these. Unable to tell whether the new package is a good deal or not, she tosses it into the cart. The cycle of shrinking packages repeats ad infinitum. Stop it. Oh my gosh. Could have just said infinitely. If you find this silly, if you find this a silly charade, you're not alone. Just about everyone thinks, uh, everyone does when they think about it in italics. Many grumble they'd rather pay an inflation-adjusted price for the quantities they've known. Others swear they look at markets comparison labels giving price per ounce and wouldn't be fooled. Boy, that's true. Uh, one of the things price consultants has learned is that what consumers say and what they do are not the same thing. That's what I highlighted. Mm. So any of you beating your chests out there saying, well, I wouldn't get tricked by this. Yes, you would. Yes, you do. You do it every day. You just don't realize it. For the most part, memories of prices are short and the memories of boxes and packages are shorter. It wasn't so long ago that companies priced their products with no strategy behind the demand curves of Economics 101. In the past generations, firms such as Boston Consulting, Ronald Berger, and a bunch of other things I don't have time to read, have prospered by advertising businesses on the surprisingly complex psychology of price. No firm has spearheaded the professionalism of pricing more than Simon Kutcher and Partners, SKP. German business professor Hermann Simon and two of his doctoral students founded the firm in Germany in 1985. SKP is now nearing 500 employees stationed all over the globe with U.S. Car offices in Cambridge, New York, and San Francisco. With 60 PhDs on staff, quite a few in physics, SKP has a re reputation as the rocket scientists of pricing. The firm exudes a Star Trek cosmopolitanism. Employees from India, Korea, Germany, Switzerland, and Spain mingle in the Cambridge office and its practice to rotate the promising consultants among nations. Each year, SKP assembles its far-flung employees for a party at a castle in Rhine. The influence of SKP on the price... So these are the bad guys. Mm. The author wants you to know SKP is the bad guys. Oh. Um, Did he use a rather large word to tell me that? Probably. Okay. Um, the influence of SKP on prices we pay for just about everything is as little recognized as it is staggering. The rules apply to other consultants don't apply to pricing. An ad agency would not have Coca-Cola and Pepsi as their clients, but SKP does. In many industries, SKP adv ad advises half a dozen of the leading firms. Its current roster of the clients include Procter & Gamble, Nestle, Microsoft, Intel, Texas Instruments, T-Mobile, Vodafone, Nokia, rest in peace, Sony Ericsson, <laughs> Honeywell, something I can't pronounce, Warner Music, Something else I can't pronounce. Merck, Bayer, Johnson & Johnson, UBS, Barclays, HSBC, Goldman & Sachs, Dow Jones, Hilton, British Airways, Lufthansa, Emirates Airways, BMW, Mercedes, Volkswagen, Toyota, General Motors, Volvo, Caterpillar, Adidas, and the Toronto Blue Jays. You just had to throw just, that one in. So just casually. Everything. 
The same psychological tricks apply whether you're setting a price for text messages or toilet paper or airline tickets. Jeez. To SKP consultants, prices are the most pervasive of hidden persuaders. Stop it with the alliteration. Oh my gosh. This dude just wanted you to know that he was an English major. Mm. Though a price is just a number, it can evoke a complex set of emotions, something now visible in brain scans. Mm. Depending on the context, the same price may be perceived as a bargain or a ripoff, or it may not matter at all. Mm. A few of the tricks are timeless, like shrinking packages and prices ending in the magic number nine. But price consultancy is more than la the latest chapter in a flat world hucksterism. Oh my God. It, <laughs> this guy's bothering me already. It draws on some of the, this is why I don't read books. <laughs> I start to demonize the author and then I just can't get through it anymore. Uh, but price consultancy is more than the latest. I already said that. In the mundane act of naming a price, we translate the desires of our hearts into the public language of numbers. That turns out to be a surprisingly tricky process. Wow. That's insane. Lots of stuff on prices. What are your thoughts? I knew the cereal boxes were getting skinnier. Like, guys, that oh, that's insane. Um, but it is interesting to see just how, like, everybody sees it. Everybody sees that price is relative like uh, we say it a lot on our youtube channel um but i don't think people admit it like again right. what people say and what people do are two different things and i think that's what we're coming up against is yeah. we say hey price is fake it's arbitrary it's completely emotional um and it just it just doesn't make any sense and but everybody thinks like oh yeah no i i think about things logically i don't get ripped off but mm -hmm. that's the biggest lie out there right and it's just interesting to see all these huge industries, that list you read off, like Pepsi, Coca-Cola, I mean, like all the airlines. I mean, just an insane amount of, like, they all see it and they all use it. Yeah. So why shouldn't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Danny says, sorry, I wasn't paying attention to chat. That's probably, that's probably why I was able to stay focused for so long. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, they do the same thing with buying in bulk. Buying in bulk is not always cheaper. I have found that to be true. Yes. yes. Also, the dollar store. Yeah. There's some stuff in that dollar store that is way more expensive than it should be. Yeah, like it should not it should not be a dollar. Like especially the food. Yeah. Like they they would sell like okay, so one of my guilty pleasures is uh <laughs> Vienna sausages. I love Oh my gosh. some veniwanies and ketchup. The perfect the perfect Gross. lunch if you're out fishing all day. Yeah, um, for the fish. Yeah, but anyway, <laughs> Vini Weenies at the dollar store are like two for a dollar. They're like 28 cents or whatever if you go to Walmart. Like buying at the dollar store is an absolute ripoff. But again, because we think, oh, it's just a buck. Yeah. It's it's cheap. Like you don't think twice about it. Oh, I get two of these for a dollar? Like you don't even think about it. Right. So it's uh it's crazy. Um. I think the biggest example is from the podcast when you referenced the Peloton did with their bikes. Yeah, it's yes. the same thing. Like it, price is so arbitrary. Yeah. For those of you who didn't hear about our what we did, we did it, it was the first Maker's video Money video also, too. but yeah, Maker's Money video. We were talking about the Peloton. So when it first released, they had like the, it genuinely was the best bike. It was an amazing product. And it was and competitively they, priced, but yes. nobody bought it because they thought it was too cheap. They're like, there's no way it's a good bike if it's this cheap. So right. they like raised the price massively. And then it was the number one selling exercise. People are like, well, if it costs this bike. much, it must be good. And then they got into, you know, the world of luxury also, you know, and it, you know, price higher. It must be a luxury good and high quality. So, um, yeah, that worked for them. Yeah. So we can look at this one of two ways. We can look at this and be doom and gloom and think, oh, no, we're getting ripped off. The stupid companies, they're smarter than us. Like, we yeah. can't keep up. Or... You can curse the darkness or you can get a flashlight. It's another one of our quotes. Mm -hmm. Pick up a flashlight. You Now you know. Use that to your advantage. Make smarter decisions. If you're running a business, set your prices the way that it's going to work. Yep. You're not ripping people off because I guarantee you that you're, you're not wasting the money. If you're an entrepreneur and you're running a business, I highly, highly doubt that you're going to buy, blow all your money on a Lamborghini. You might. If that's your goal, mm -hmm. who am I to judge? But you're probably going to use the money when you start out for your kid's college fund. You're going to get out of debt. You're going to buy food and groceries for your family. You're not ripping people off. You're mm -hmm. just circulating money through the economy. So don't feel like just you're taking money from people who can afford to spend it and you're using the money more efficiently. And There's nothing let's wrong not with that. forget that in return, you're giving them a fantastic product. Like a lot of you, you're giving them a beautiful art piece, something that they can use with their families at home. You're building them a table where they can have dinner together. Like, you know, it, it's, it, it's supply and demand. You're trading a yeah. good for somebody's money. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, I'm going to start something real quick because I forgot about it and I don't want to forget about it. Today we are giving away something on yes. Twitch. So we are going to pull this up so we can start the auction. So if you're on Twitch, we've given you the whole hour yes. to jump over there. Um, so now we're going to do, we're going to give away something. We're going to give away a Keurig machine. So if you would like a Keurig machine so that you can join us every morning with your coffee or tea yes. or whatever little K cup you want to use. Um, we are going to giveaways. Okay, uh, custom giveaway, start giveaway. Okay, so everybody in the chat, if you're on Twitch, um, we have started a raffle. So use the command, see where it says there in the chat, it says use exclamation point free stuff to enter the raffle. That's what you type in chat and you will automatically be entered to win the raffle. So uh, say free stuff. Oh, happy trees, you clicked the wrong letter. Free stuff, not free stud. <laughs> <laughs> Free stuff. There you go. There you go. All right. Tickets are rolling in. Great job, everybody. Yay. This is your last chance. If you were on YouTube or Instagram or something else, download Twitch, make an account, follow us, join the stream and uh, hit free stuff. You got to follow us though. You got to follow us in order to enter. So yes. hit that follow button on Twitch and you can be entered to win. Um, for the people on TikTok that said, what about TikTok? Uh, the giveaway only works on Twitch. So if you want to be included on giveaways in the morning show, go follow us on Twitch because that is where the giveaways happen. Nice. So um, so we sharpened our minds this morning. That was great. Learned a lot about prices. I'm excited to dive in this book. Yes. So they get it, the rest of this book, they get into like the strategies. They got like pictures and stuff. Um, but like they go over different pricing strategies and stuff like that. It's really exciting. Um, boy, that five hour energy is really kicking in now. If you can get over the big words in this book. It seems like it's gonna be a winner. I'm gonna need a five hour energy every morning. There's so many big words in this book. Um, so An addiction. yes, only one entry per person doing it multiple times doesn't get you anything extra. Yeah. Sorry. Um, other than engagement in the chat. Once we are able to take Twitch subscribers, Twitch subscribers will get extra entries in the giveaways though. Yes. So, um, just more of an incentive to follow. Thank you for everybody who's following again, exclamation point free stuff. That's called a command on Twitch. If you're new to Twitch, yes. so command free stuff. We're learning this together guys. Yeah, like, we, we are, are. We are learning Twitch together. Truly. Um, yes. So. Um, so we sharpened our mind. Now yes. we're going to sharpen our body. So I can't make you do push-ups. Otherwise I would make you do push-ups every morning. I'm just that kind of guy. I mean, we could try to make you do push-ups. But it's some just, of y'all are driving you know, to work and I don't want to make you do that. Yeah. So what everyone can do right now is breathing exercises. Yes. I don't want to get like super woo-woo, but there's science behind this. Your brain needs oxygen in the morning. Your brain functions better. We, a lot of us, if we're stressed and overworked, which is typically our audience because yes. our audience is people trying to do stuff um, and make a difference in the world. Yes. You are probably not breathing enough. There's science that backs this up. Just trust me, bro. Uh, <laughs> let's do some breathing exercises. It, it, so the first one we're going to do is four counts in, four counts out. Yes. We're going to do them with you. We're going to all look silly together, but take us seriously. Let's go. You ready, Jenny? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Out. Two, three, four. I can't do this and count at the same time. So I'll count. I'm trying not to breathe into my mic. <laughs> yeah. All right. So in two, three, four, out two, three, four. Okay. So in your day to day, you're probably not breathing out enough. We're holding in too much air yeah, in our lungs. Yeah, you breathe really shallow. You and know? you realize you're not holding your breath. Um, so let's do it again. In yep. two, three, all the way in, out two, three, four. It should hurt a little bit on the in and the out. Not too much. Don't give yourself a heart attack, but no. in two, three, four, out two, three, four. And your breathe. lungs should be completely empty. Yeah. Breathe from your stomach. Breathe into your belly. Flex yeah. your abs when you do this. All right. Last one. In two, three, four. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Out. All the way out. Two. Blow hard. Three, four. Okay, great. I feel better already. Yeah. So um, if you ever feel stressed, just do that. Yeah. I'm finding with my woodworking projects that I'll, I get a lot of expected negotiating to the point that becomes insulting. How to handle this? Cut them off. Mm -hmm. You do not have time for customers that don't respect your work. Yep. You are an artist. You should be pricing accordingly. If somebody doesn't see the value in it, dump them. Yep. You should be so busy like putting more leads in the water and you should be so overwhelmed with how much work you have to do to stay in touch with all these people. Rocky James, it's one word. Just exclamation point free stuff all together. Don't space it out. That yeah. you should just say, I don't have time for you. Bye. Like you got to go look for more people that see value in your yeah. work. Just cut them off. Like do not, if it's insulting, then quit wasting your time. Yep. 
Um, morning show is the night show. It's 11 p.m. and you're ready for bed. What are you? Where are you at? Australia, Ice Maniac. Appreciate you. Don't That's wake great. me up with these breathing exercises. Hey, it works for falling asleep <laughs> it too. It does. It does. Um, again, more science. Trust me, bro. But <laughs> you're when you when you want to initiate sleep, you need to create an ex a slight excess of CO2. Mm -hmm. So you want to breathe in for three counts and out for four counts. No, other way around. In for four counts, out for three counts. Because you want to maintain some of that CO2 in Correct. your Correct. You do that and um, you get a little bit starved for oxygen and your brain just falls right asleep. Mm -hmm. It works. Um, if you want to Google search, they did this breathing exercise with uh, Navy fighter pilots trying to get them to fall asleep. And the average, once they got these guys trained up how to do it, great job, Rocky James. Proud of you. Um, we uh, Once once you they learned how to do that, they can fall asleep in less than 10 minutes. So there you go. Pretty impressive. Um, Thanks, Maxwell Maid. We're excited to be here too. Yes. Thanks for All right. Me. So we are going to uh, end the Keurig machine raffle. So last chance, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off. Well, I can't stop it. I got to wait for the lag. Oh. And then close entries. All right. We're done. Game over. All right. All right. Let's figure it out. Wow. We've got a lot of entries. 46. 46 entries. I didn't think we'd get 46 viewers, much less 46 Y'all entries. Are great. Appreciate it. 73 people watching on Twitch. How many on YouTube? And we got 90 on YouTube. Wow. Hey, guys, on YouTube, it, the giveaway only works on Twitch. You got to go over to Twitch and follow us there. Yes. Um, this is the only stream that's going to happen on the main channel. You got to jump over to Twitch to watch them every other day or Instagram. Um, Yes, I just saw a comment. Dollar stores are one twenty five now because yes. of inflation. I see that. Yep. Yeah, I did um, hear that. Cool. All right, we're about to pick a winner. You want to give me a drum roll? Yes. Don't Ready? hit the table. Hit your legs. The real TW ninety nine is my winner. Awesome. The real TW ninety nine. Where can I find him? We'll figure out how to do this. All right. So the real TW ninety nine. Uh, check your, uh, whispers. I think that's where it's supposed to go. Um, hi from Germany. What's up? Hello from Germany. Hello from Houston. Yes. Um, good job winner. Yes. Good job. Good job winner. You worked good very job hard. Winner. Yes. Uh, all right. I'm gonna write this down and I'm gonna try to find you later. I think we'll that's so funny out. that Twitch calls their like DMs whispers. It sounds oddly creepy. <laughs> um, all right. The, what is it? What's his name? The real TW99. Why does your pen not work? I don't know. That makes me sad. I like this pen. This is a good pen. My dad made that pen yeah. on his lathe. <laughs> oh, thanks, Maxwell Made. He says I'll go follow on Twitch. Oh, thanks, y'all. Oh, now it works. Fixed it. <sighs> You're the worst. I'm the best. Okay. Um, Just put that in my affirmation. What's his name? The, the real TW, right? For the real TW99. All right, we'll find you. I think uh, Happy Trees can help us out later because he knows Twitch way better than we do. So, <laughs> like I said, we're all learning Twitch together here. Um, all right, and Spirit. All right, so the last thing, I know we're over time, but that's okay. We're having fun over here. Uh, last thing we need to do is we need to ask ourselves two questions. Did you lock the door? Yeah. Or can. I can. I, let all right, me. go let Caleb and Caitlin uh, in. Okay. I think that's who I heard at the door. That was like 20 minutes ago. Did they call you? Are they out there standing in the rain? No. Nobody's out there? All right. Cool. Um, so um, last thing is we need to sharpen our spirit. So um, just the two questions we're going to ask every day is what are you worried about and what are you joyful for? Again, this is a good way to prime your day or to wrap up your day for those of you in Australia. <laughs> um, so Jenny, what are you worried about right now? What am I worried about right now? Well, we're worried about something big. We can talk about it later. Yeah, that'll come later. In a YouTube later. video. Um, oh, gosh. What are you worried about right now? Mm. I am... <gasps> what? Sorry. Something exciting? Alicia's here. <gasps> Alicia, hi! Um, what am I worried about right now? I am to the point where I would really like to start reaching out to like more industries in the woodworking business. Okay. And so I'm trying my best to like 
realtors are great and we've made lots of money off realtors, but I don't want to stick with realtors for forever. And I'm just like worried if the same strategies are going to work with other industry leaders and it takes a little bit of experimenting and then it just pure brute force in trying like over and over sales is a numbers game, but I'm just worried that I'm not going to be able to dive into new industries as fast as I would like to or need to. Yeah. That's a, uh, yeah, that's tough. Yeah. How about you? Uh, I'm worried. Um, what am I worried about? Yeah. For me, it's not necessarily like worried. It's just th areas that I have to put in some extra work lately. Yeah. Cause I don't want, I don't want to stay worried. Like I don't want to worry. I don't want to be in a state of worry. I'd rather be in a state of working to solve my I was, problems. I was worried about this morning show, but yeah. man, on the first day, 75 viewers on Twitch. I love it. That's fantastic. Um, really excited about that. So I'm not worried anymore and I'm joyful for the morning show because it was such a great success on the I'm first I'm joyful one. for that too. I'm so joyful. I hope we continue to, uh, to do that. So I'm excited. Um, I'm really joyful for just all of you. Thank you so much for, for yes. joining us. It's, it's been so much fun. I can't wait to do this every single day. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, those of you watching on YouTube, this is the, the only day that it's ever going to be on our YouTube channel. Um, can you please go over to Twitch and follow us there yes. and you can uh, watch the morning show. You can also get it on, um, you can also get, uh, what else? What, where else you can watch it? Yeah. Instagram, oh, Instagram Facebook. Facebook. TikTok. Um, I will say though, on TikTok, it's hard to get us both into the frame. Um, they don't have as good of a Zoom feature as Instagram does for their mm. live streams. Um, so you can watch it on TikTok, but I highly recommend if you're only watching on TikTok to find another method yeah. like Twitch. Um, we're trying to s stream it to TikTok, but it's like really weird because it's a newer platform and they don't yeah. have all their stuff figured out yet. Yeah. But anyway, um, somebody said they were worried about lumber price <laughs> prices. Um, <laughs> Nice. Uh, RR2BB63. What a great username. Um, I'm finding it difficult to manage ways to market my woodworking projects and the time it takes to build this stuff. Can you share some advice? Um, so marketing, just talk to people. Open your freaking mouth about your business. Yeah. Just talk to people every day. Just, you know that stupid, hey, how you doing conversation where you talk about nothing? Swap that. When somebody's like, hey, what's up, man? You say, hey, I'm doing great. I just started a business and stop talking. Mm -hmm. That right there has got, made us more money than any other marketing yep. strategy. Just talk about your business. Um, and then making time, you just gotta you just gotta be accountable to the calendar. Give yourself a couple hours every week and um, yeah. Yep, put it on the calendar. And to go even like bigger picture on that because we know you have, you know, people have limited time and so your free time to build is very valuable. Um, when you're first starting your business, take a lot of time to figure out what your market wants. Really determine what they want and what they need because then your valuable time can be spent building things that they're actually going to buy rather than just building what you want to buy and then finding out that maybe your market doesn't have a need for that item. And then you have to spend more of your valuable time starting all over again to build a different product. So save yourself some time and on the front end, really do a little bit of market research. Yeah. Well, that's our show for this morning. Yeah. Thank you so much for all of you for joining. Uh, this has just been an absolute, um, just absolute joy. Um, yes. This is so much more fun than I thought it would be. I can't believe so many people showed up. I can't wait this to do this fantastic. again. Okay, real quick, what is our official Twitch name? A Twitch, just search Jenny and Davis. Jenny Jenny's and with Davis. an IE. Uh, but just search Jenny and Davis, or you can go to twitch.tv slash Jenny and Davis. That's the website, twitch.tv slash Jenny and Davis. Yes. Um, that's pretty much it. So um, thanks, all of you. Um, we will get to the real, the real TW99. We will get you your Keurig coffee machine yes. uh, winning the giveaway. Man, we got people from Nova Scotia. That's cool. Hello. Wow. Wow. Just all over the world. So... Uh, it's not a morning show to everybody, I guess, but, yeah. um, cause there are people from Australia and all over the place. It's a good night show. Yes. But Hey, it's a good way to wrap up the day. The late show, the night show, the, the night show. The Jenny next Davis. day. Oh, it's another quote. We need to put our quote list. The next day starts the night before. It does. Yep. Yep. Think about that. hundred percent. And until tomorrow morning. Yes. We are just going to do our day. Have fun. Bye friends.